I want to give a special shout out to Bob and Brad. They sent over this Q2 mini massage gun. And since we just worked out, let's open it up and get into it. The Bob and Brad Q2 mini has recently been honored with the prestigious Women's Health Fit Tech Award. It's pocket size and ultra light. It only weighs 0.95 pounds. It's whisper quiet. It gives deep tissue massage and it's powerful. It also targets every muscle group. It's designed by renowned physical therapist Bob and Brad to provide effective physical therapy approaches and help millions recover faster. This is the perfect Valentine's Day gift for him or her. If you go on Amazon.com, it's 15% off right now. You can also add a 10% discount code on top. The discount code is BobBrad16. I really enjoyed this mini massage gun and I think you guys will too. Be sure to check it out. What's up, what's up? It's your girl CC back with another video. If you're new to my channel, I hope you see something today that inspires you to subscribe. If you're already a family member, welcome back, fam. So it is Tuesday. I just finished my little workout. It don't matter if I know I skip Monday, it don't matter. That don't matter. It doesn't matter. As long as you start and don't quit. And if you quit, start again. So I'm up drinking my tea. I'm actually um, working out what we're gonna have for dinner for the rest of the week. Um, Y'all friend is home, but he has requested pear, pear preserves, pear jam. So we are going to try our hand sometime this week at making him some pear jam because if he asks for it, he knows I'm going to do my best to figure it out. So I need to run some errands, pick up groceries, run some errands for that. And you can't have jam without bread, so I'm more than likely going to make some bread. Anywho, I'm not quite sure what this vlog will entail, but I know we got to make preserves. I know we got to make some bread. I know we got to figure out what's for dinner. So, yeah, y'all. I hope y'all down for the shenanigans. So, let's shenan. All right, y'all. Back from the store. So I dropped off, remember that pound cake that we froze? Finally put it in the mail today. It'll be there Thursday, so I'll let y'all know how it shipped. Um, this week for dinners, we are having taco stuffed shells with, yeah, just taco stuffed shells. And then we are having um, taco stuffed shells and a salad. I'm like, I know it's something to go with it. Taco stuffed shells and a salad. We're having roast with potatoes and carrots and dinner rolls we are also having what's the third meal what you just said? oh sloppy joes but boom, boom boom so i cook in three so i'll pick three meals because usually we have leftovers and if not then i'll cook something else so those are the three meals that we're having this week um Nothing special from the grocery store, but I'll show y'all my haul anyway. So, want to see it? Here we go. I picked up these pie pans, and y'all will see Gabe moving in the background because as I'm showing them, showing the groceries, he's putting them up. I picked up these pie pans because I ordered the USA pans for my dinner rolls for later this week, but they won't be here till tomorrow. So, in case I get a little froggy and want to make the dinner rolls, this is here. We got pears because I told y'all Mr. Man asked for um hold on we got pears because i told y'all i don't know if y'all can see it in the background over here but i'm getting ready to can these some um, pear preserves pear jam so pears um coffee creamer because somebody in here is a coffee drinker ketchup for sloppy joes we need to rotel out for dinner tonight. Brown beef for sloppy joes, brown turkey for the shells. We also have to make pasta tonight, salad for tonight. 
cilantro for tonight, bell pepper for block of girls. No, the bell pepper is actually for tonight. I have frozen bell peppers for the floppy dog. Onions, cause we just need them to re-up. Potatoes for the roast. Milk for Grayson's uh, hot cocoa situation that he be having. Y'all know how that goes. We got a roast. Mexican cheese for the pasta tonight. Pectin for the, what is this for? For your jam, pectin for his jelly. Sugar for the jelly. Salted and unsalted butter because we needed to re-up. Frozen fries for the sloppy rolls. Carrots for the roast. Y'all, I'm addicted to this breakfast sausage right now. So it's the Jimmy Dean maple sausage. If y'all hear noise in the background, it's my niece. I'm babysitting my niece because it's my sister's anniversary. So shout out to you, Luana. Happy anniversary, Luana and Maine. Um, so TT duties. Jimmy Dean, the maple sausage. This is bae right now. This is bae right now. So I got that. I got a lemon. I think I need this for the pear jam. Pico de gallo for the pasta tonight. Real lemon juice for the jam. Because you need real lemon juice. You cannot use squeezed lemon juice. You need real lemon juice because the acidity levels. The lime can get put up. I don't remember what this is for. I think this is for the sloppy joe. Sour cream for tonight. Because you can't have tacos without a dollop of daisy. And last but not least, some more pears. So that is my grocery haul for the week. It wasn't a lot of stuff. When I don't have the kids with me, I can usually get it done for about a hundred and some odd dollars. Today I got it done for a hundred and some odd dollars. But I also don't have a lot of extra stuff like snacks and oh chips and all of that. So there's that. But I'm gonna go ahead and pop out this pasta maker so I can get started on making the noodles for our stuffed shells. So I'll be right back. All right, so this is how the noodles came out. I'm currently working on another batch because my family has concluded that that is not enough. So. I'm gonna go ahead and let this machine run. I'll let y'all know when it comes back, how we did. And I'll tell y'all what recipe I use. Like what the numbers were. For y'all and for me. Cause I don't be, I just, I'm right now in this pasta journey, we winging it a little bit. So I'm about to set the pot up for the boiling water and go ahead and make the taco meat. Y'all know how to make taco meat. Ground turkey, taco seasoning, onions, bell peppers, garlic. So yeah. All right, so final, we got two full trays of pasta jumbo shells. This was fun, D has been working on the meat for me. And we got a pot in the back for the water boiling, salted. So I'ma go ahead and look at Emmy. Say hi, mamash. Say hi, say hi. No, Major. Emmy watches the vlogs faithfully, so when she see herself, I'll ask her mom to tell us how she reacts. But, um, yeah. So, dinner is almost ready. This is like a quick one-two little meal. Honestly, the pasta didn't take long. The noodles, probably the boil them, won't take long because they're, they're fresh. And the taco meat is not, taco meat is quick. So, this is a quick little, I wouldn't say 30-minute meal, but you can knock it out after a long day's work you can also just buy your pasta shells but y'all know your girl is on her homemade journey so let me tell y'all what i did so in case you make this pasta i did 
200 grams of semola flour, 50 grams of double O flour, 12 grams of olive oil, one egg, and then like up to 100 and I finished whatever was left to 150 grams of liquid. So that is what I did. Maybe, maybe 160 grams of liquid, give or take. That is what I did. That is what we got. We're gonna see how these boil up. All right, we are at a boil, so I'm about to boil these noodles up. While that's boiling up in the bottom of my dish, I'm just gonna put a little bit of rotel. Not a lot. Just a little bit. You just gonna put the sauce in there and put the meat in there and put it in the pan. Here. Okay, so all the shells are stuffed. And just like you would any taco, you're gonna top it with some Mexican cheese. So me being the good, I was gonna make one for the freezer because we had extra, but I'ma just make my little sister one so she can have it to take home. So that's what I'm doing. And this is what we got. I just topped it with some cilantro. And then when we played it, we got sour cream, guacamole, and pico de gallo. So just like you would eat your tacos, eat it with your little dipping sauces. So we're about to eat. I'll show you what our place look like and everybody will come and give their review. This is the first time I've ever made this. So if I need to make some tweaking, I will let y'all know that too. So we'll be back. So here it is, uh, stuffed taco shells. We got, I don't know if y'all can see it. We got sour cream, guacamole, pico. Yeah. So I just wanted to come and show y'all it's gone. So that should already let you know. This recipe was a 10 out of 10 in the house. So it was my first time making it. Don't think I need to do any tweaks. So how was your dinner, sweetie? It was good. It was just good because you on your third plate. It's not my third, it's my second. Because the second one, why you only gave me four noodles? Third plate. How was not, dinner, sweetie? Not. It was amazing. I had two plates, two full plates. Sudi's plate is empty too. Gabe, how was dinner? It was good. What was your favorite part? I did like the noodles. They remind me of tacos, so I did like that. You like the noodles? Mm -hmm. All right, cool. So if y'all make this recipe, let your girl know. 10 out of 10 would definitely recommend. You don't have to make your own pasta noodles. That's just something that I did. But if you do, let me know. But if you make this recipe in general, let me know because it's teenager approved, household approved. It's definitely going in the rotation. It was easy, it wasn't hard, it wasn't complicated. And I didn't have to stand over the stove frying on taco shells, so there's that. Adding it to the Taco Tuesday rotation for sure. It is 10.30 at night. The kitchen is clean and quiet, but I'm still babysitting. So, um, I was looking up a recipe for this pear, um, preserve and it said you gotta let these things sit in sugar for 24 to 48 hours so i'm over here processing these uh pears and i thought i'd bring y'all with me so i'm trying to be smart and use my apple peeler i'm gonna just keep going until i get to Four cups. Okay. So we got our four cups of pears. Peeled, chopped, decored. We need one cup of sugar. So we're gonna take one cup of sugar. Is that music copyright? No. Oh. Because he's literally playing it himself. So. And a tablespoon of lemon juice. Okay, 
Okay, so this has to sit overnight. So I'm gonna put a top on it and let it sit out overnight and we'll revisit this in the morning. Good morning, good morning, you guys. It is Wednesday morning, it's 11 o'clock, which means that our pears have been sitting for at least 12 hours. So this is what we got. This made its own little juice. I did slice up a few lemons last night. I don't know if y'all can see. I did slice up a few lemons last night and just threw those in there as well. So I'm about to put it in a pot and boil it. So let's do that. And it's not a lot, so. I'm also gonna season it to taste, which I'm just gonna add a little bit of cinnamon and a little bit of a splash of vanilla. And let it cook down. We're gonna cook it on medium low for a couple of hours. In the meantime, in the between time, I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on and bring this to a boil so that the, um, jars can sterilize so they are in here Ready to go. so that's what I'm doing I need to work on and set up for the hamburger bun so let me do that and I yeah I thought I was recording and I was not however um those four cups of those four cups of pears only gave me like one and a half jars of jam. So, which is cool because I wanted to test out the recipe anyway, but I still have the rest of them to cut up and chop. But let's go ahead and take these out and set them on the counter and then I will show you guys what they look like. So obviously the half jar I'm gonna stick in the refrigerator and that's gonna be the one we open and eat and test. And I hear it popping. The one, one just sealed. But um, this is what they look like. So this will be the one that we eat today, probably, or tomorrow. But yeah, I just wanted to come and let y'all know that that is done. I am. All right. So somebody is anxious to get into their preserves, but we don't have any crackers or anything in the house, right? Because I've rid the pantry pretty much of all all-purpose flour items. So with that being said, I am making bread. I don't have this recipe down to a T, so I will not be teaching y'all the recipe. I'm basically just gonna be showing y'all what I'm doing. So, yeah. <laughs>
Okay, our buns are out of the oven and on the cooling rack. So while those cool, we're gonna put our sandwich bread in the oven for 25 minutes. Somebody cannot wait to taste the preserves. They literally, they literally came in the house ready. So let me let them taste these. Are you gonna taste them with your dad, Papa? Yeah. No? Yeah. So we did get a seal, as you can see. And this was the jar that wasn't full. Apples. This pears. Pears, so I love pears. Uh. How it tastes? Good. It tastes real good. Let me try. Mm -hmm. We're in trouble, right? Can I move? <laughs> mm -hmm. This is going to be our job. So we'll be digging back and forth. Is it good? This is it right here, so we gotta stop. Clearly, it's not gonna make it. Clearly, that it, they not gonna make it because the jar finna be gone. Take it away. I didn't even. You didn't even ask me if I wanted to taste it. Well, thought no, you did while you were making it. Mm mm. Mm mm. Good. It tastes like your grandma's. Mm mm. Doesn't mind me. Is it my love or is it? Yeah, I mean, this is what it tastes like. Mm mm. -hmm. I'm trying to eat the job. They're really good. Probably be good on top of some vanilla ice cream. Mm -hmm. Ooh, when the summer comes, sit outside with some vanilla ice cream and some pear preserves. You think these pear preserves are going to last until the summertime? I don't worry about them last because I'm going to wipe out the basement. So last ain't even in the question. Because they're not going to last. Huh? They're not going to last when people find out about them. Who, how they gonna find out about them? If they don't say nothing, I won't say nothing. So I don't know if I told y'all, but the whole reason why I am up making pear preserves today is because this man said his grandma used to make pear preserves and he missed it. So to me, what you're telling me is make me some pear preserves. And y'all know, like, if he asks for something, I'm going to figure it out. So, if to me, he said he missed it. If you miss something, especially something in the kitchen, baby, I'm going to figure it out. Because you ain't going to have to miss it too much longer. We have had a time in this kitchen. I feel like we've been in this kitchen all day, but we got a lot accomplished. Let me walk y'all through it. So, all of our jam preserves are major. No. We ended up with 11 jars all together. If you count the two from earlier, then our buns are in the oven. They have like five more minutes. We baked them at 350 for 20 minutes. So that's five more minutes on those. And then our sloppy joes are done. So to make the sloppy joes, it's really easy. Bell peppers, onions, bell peppers, onions, celery, sauteed it in the instant pot real quick because my stove top is full. Um, no. And then ground beef, garlic, seasoned it. I use salt, pepper, cumin, some burger bomb, ketchup. Like two cups of ketchup, a little brown sugar, and voila, you got sloppy joes. Mix all that together, put it on, keep warm. All right, so these are our buns. They nice and light. They're not falling apart, they're substantial. I just brushed it with butter and seasoning on top. Let's plate it up. I'm gonna grab some fun. Yeah. I like mayonnaise on my on mine. I don't know if you like mayonnaise on yours, but I do.
Wait, how you feel about the buns? <laughs> They're real soft. Um, but they also, to me, they stand up to the um, to the sloppy joe mix. Mm -hmm. So I like the regular bun, it falls apart easily mm -hmm. or it soaks it up so it falls apart. It actually is still sturdy, but soft on the inside. And how you feel about full wheat? Tuda, can you turn your phone down, please? Honestly, I can't tell the difference. I really can't. You can't tell that it's fresh meal wheat? Mm-mm. How you feel about it, Gabe? Well, being that one of yours is gone, how you feel about it? I definitely enjoy it. I like it more than the, um, the normal bread that we get from the grocery, the grocery store. You do? Mm-hmm. It has like a flavor, kind of like a flavor to the bread. Well, I ain't ate yet, and y'all not about to see me eat on camera. So I will see y'all after dinner, and I'll let y'all know how it went. Line, everybody is raving about the lock and lock container for storing for storing your bread. So that I went ahead and ordered one. So we're gonna see how that works. And Gabe want to show y'all his glasses. My baby went and got his glasses for school, so he could see now. He could see clearly now. He could see y'all. Say hey to the fam. Hey. What you want? You want them to see this pair or the other pair? Probably this pair. Just that pair. Yeah. All right, y'all see my baby in his glasses. Let him know down in the comment section that he looks very dapper. Drop him. What you want him to drop you down below if they think if they like your glasses? My glasses. Probably your glasses. Is there a glasses emoji? I think so. Drop him a glasses emoji down below in the in the comment section if y'all like like if y'all like Gabe's glasses. And your girl is just glad to be done in the kitchen. I've been in this kitchen all day, but I would do it for my family every single time. Cause who they think I am? Wonder who I woman. think I am? Y'all think I'm what? Wonder Woman. Okay, Mr. Make It Happen. <laughs> we a superhero family. <laughs> I can't stay him, y'all. I can't stay him. Look at gang. Good morning, good morning, y'all. It's actually afternoon. It's almost one o'clock. We woke up, we went for a walk, and then your girl wanted a chicken tender. Like, I wanted a BLT with chicken. So I was like, let me just run to the store real quick and make it and see what it comes out like with this fresh milk flour. So I milled some white, soft white flour. And I just seasoned the chicken and threw it in here. So we about to see how it fries up. They fried up beautifully. So you definitely can, can make the switch. So I just have chicken tenders, lettuce, tomato, and then it's avocado under here somewhere. So I'm about to eat this. I'll let y'all know how it tastes. Matter of fact, here, let's just take a bite of the tender. Mm -hmm. It tastes great. I'm about to eat my sandwich and I'll see y'all later. <sighs> y'all, so it's Thursday and I'm gonna end this video with this. My baby came home. He was like, where's the cookies? We don't have no cookies. Where's the cake? We don't have no cake. He was a little upset. We don't have no muffins. So we're gonna so we're gonna make muffins because we don't have anything sweet. So I'm gonna make him some muffins. I didn't come back and show y'all my sandwich, but the flour crisped up perfectly on the chicken tenders. The sandwich was good. I ate it and I legit went to sleep. I was so full. Um, but it was really, really good. The book that I'm using for today's recipe is the Essential Home Ground Flour by Sue Becker. Um, I got it on Amazon. And we're gonna make 12 apple cinnamon muffins because I went to H-E-B, y'all know I went to H-E-B to get um, lettuce and tomato for my sandwich and they had apples on sale. Tootie. And they had apples on sale so I went ahead and grabbed that. So we just gonna follow this recipe and fingers crossed hope for the best. So okay, that's a good job. Okay, are you gonna mix it? Yep. Okay, mix it up. One thing that I have learned on this fresh milk flour journey is that fresh milk flour is very thirsty so the batter like when you're making bread and stuff 
will look very, very wet. But once you start, once you let it rest and you start kneading, it will come together um, nice. Like it's not, it's a learning curve. It's not like regular flour. So you gotta um, kind of let it rest and soak up some of the Let it soak up, pretty much. Fix it. Fix it in gently. And let me help you fold it. Boom. Fold. 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 I'll taste it. It'll taste kind of like oatmeal. It tastes like oatmeal, huh? Well, we see it's good. Did you get him? He, he over there with the spoon in his mouth, so. The batter is to the approved. Let's go to the, voila. And I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I ate one already. Um, It was good. I had to keep in mind that it's not a cupcake, so it's not as sweet as a cupcake would be, but it's a muffin. It definitely will go good in the morning with some coffee or something. Here y'all go. They're super moist, not dry at all. You can see the apple chunks in there. I'm gonna add it to his plate of apples he got going on. There you go. Good morning, good morning. It is Friday morning. I feel like all I've been doing is cooking, 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 so. Today, I'm not going in the kitchen at all, I don't think. But, we got our coffee, we got our muffin, and we're getting ready to go to our eyelash appointment because I've been bald on the eyes for far too long. Um, the last time I had my lashes done was right before the cruise. And I just haven't been doing anything, but it's time to step it back up. So we about to go get our lashes done as soon as we eat our muffin. So this is me ball eye right now. I'll see y'all when we get home. Okay, you guys, well, I am home from getting my lashes done. We are back, let me show y'all. We are back in full effect. So I hope you guys enjoy hanging out with your girl and being in the kitchen. Cause baby, who do I think I am? Little Miss Betty Crocker, me, please. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you saw something today that inspired you to subscribe. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, and tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend. Y'all know the drill. Tell your mama them, tell your daddy them, tell your sister them, tell your brother them, tell your auntie them, tell your cousin them, tell your friends and them. Tell all of them to get on over here to CC's World TV because we got a got To get on over here to CC's World TV because we got a lot going on and you don't want to miss it. I will see you guys in the very next video that I'm actually shooting right after I close this and you definitely don't want to miss it. Toodles noodles.